It's time to duel the legendary fire type bird, Moltres. But we need to use the sun and the moon to take it down. Right, Auntie Gladys? Yeah. What are we going to use? Lunaton? And? Sora? Oh my god, are they going to work? I think so. Okay, so hi, hi to all of you guys. Hi guys! Yep, let's go ahead to bring my screen up and I'm gonna show you guys, seriously guys, we are gonna use Soro and Lunato. No joke! I think this is probably gonna be one of the first in the world to be done, you know? <sighs> yep, we're gonna show you guys what we have. Alright, we're gonna type Soul, we're gonna type Luna. Alright, you guys can see that I actually have two, alright, Lunatone and, you know, <laughs> Soul Rock. Then I actually handles and maxed out to level 40. Okay, they are level 40. No longer maxed out. So saying it's maxed up to level 40, Brandon. It's le maxed out to level 50. I don't have enough XL candies to actually max the Lunatone and Soul Rock. Though I technically can power it up another two more times if I wish to. Alright, one, two, but nah, we're not gonna do that. And the rest of the Soul Rock and Lunatones, they're all gonna be the ones that are, you know, some of them are shiny, some of them are really, really low in CP. And Auntie Gladys is also using uh, the same theme as mine, but we never powered up any of our Lunatones and Soul Rock at all. Right, Auntie Gladys, you want to tell them which is your, what is the C, lowest CP of your Lunatone or Sorok? CP? Wow, that's very low. Ah, 350. We need some help, guys. <laughs> Alright, so the only help that we are going to get is actually the weather, right? It is partly cloudy right now, meaning rock type Pokemon are boosted. So all of our Lunatones and Sorok has the move Rock Troll and Rock Slide because that's the best move that they have with Rock Typing. And Moltres, right, being a double weakness, being, having a double weakness to Rock, <laughs> it'd be quite alright for us to take it down. So anyway, this is the Moltres we will be trying to uh, do the duel on. We're going to private lobby it. I'm going to create the group code, create, create a group, and then give Auntie Gladys the group code. And then we'll just jump straight to the part where, yeah, we can actually uh, do the raid. No, actually, uh, sorry, I, I, I went to public. That's stupid of me. I'm so sorry. Uh, Private Brandon. All right, guys. So the lobby time is left with 35 seconds, but I just want to mention a few things. First of all, this video can go, you know, either way. It can be one of the most intense video that I'm going to make or the dumbest. All right. It could go either way. And yeah, you guys can see that this, this is the team I'll be running with. Auntie Gladys, do you think we will be able to take down the Motress. Positive, positive! Yeah, look at what Auntie Gladys is using also. Yeah, CP350 Lunatone, okay? Auntie Gladys? Let's have fun! Uh, good luck. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. The raid is starting. Lunatone is in the house. Auntie Gladys is starting with her Soul Rock first because we decided to alternate, alternate, alternate. Okay, so... <laughs> The Moltres is running wing attack and also heat wave. That's great because technically that's the weakest charge move that it has, especially to fight against our you know rock type Pokemon. Especially since rock actually do resist fire and also flying, which is great. So anyway, um, <laughs> it's going pretty all right right now. After being in the raid for 30 seconds, the health of the Motor is, is going down relatively steadily. I think, Gladys, you're still on your first um, Soul Rock, I believe. Yes. Okay, it, it should be fainting now. Yeah. Yeah, because my Lunatone fainted also. So, okay, we have our Soul Rock out right now. And like I said, all of our Soul Rocks and Lunatones have Rock Troll and Rock Spike. We made sure that we all have you know, the rock throw and rock slide move and not using the, you know, psychic move at all because a psychic wouldn't do super effective damage to the motors at all. Not even single, you know, super effective to it. Alright, so the heat wave does a significant amount of damage to our soul rock and also Lunatone, but, you know, I believe both of them have the exact same stats in terms of attack, defense and stamina. So you guys will see that both of them will go down at the same time despite them, you know, being kind of different Pokemon. And, uh, the Motrus is, you know, surprisingly is going down really quickly, right? I think like this. Yep. Yeah, we are already on our third Pokemon. You should be on your third Pokemon also, right? Yep, yeah. <laughs> okay, and my shiny Lunatone is out, okay? 
If you guys take a look at the health of the Moltres, it's almost reaching to in between the two letter Fs for the super effective. Remember I said that once it reaches the be, uh, in the middle of the two letter F's, it means it is half health, alright? It will turn to yellow right about now, okay? And we are at 183 seconds left on the clock. We are doing really, really well, but we have a problem. Remember that the CP of our Lunatones and Sorok, they are slowly going down. Meaning, Auntie Gladys' CP 350 Lunatone is going to be out soon. With that, alright, our damage and our survivability will drop a lot. So, I do not know if we should re-lobby, you know, or just uh, fight to the death. Okay, I think that is a... Uh, oh my god, her, I, I'm looking at her screen right now, I'm like screening her. She's at her. She's on her last CP 350 time. Lunatone already. I'm still on my second last Lunatone, alright, because I do power up my Lunatone for Ultra League and <laughs> also <laughs> Great League. Alright, I think that is... Please heal back and re-lobby, okay? Okay, I'm looking at her. I, make, I just want to make sure that she's able to re-lobby before my last Pokemon faints. Okay, my Lunatone has fainted, but I still have my last Soul Rock. Okay, I think it can survive two heat waves, and she's coming back in right now. Okay, she has rejoined. So, I'm not going to um, re-lobby now. I'm just going to let the Soul Rock faint. Okay, technically speaking, it will be more efficient if we were to just fight to, like, maybe our third Mon or fourth Mon. Then we switch over to our, you know... First and second Lunatone again after reviving them because they will deal more damage. All right, my Great League uh, <laughs> Soul Rock has just fainted. We're gonna have to quickly heal them up. Yes, using Max revives on Lunatone, guys. Very economical, man. This is so good. All right, I'm back. Okay, here we go. We got our level 40 Lunatone back again. Okay, I think that is uh, Lunatone is out also. I think that is you should be on your second mod now. The, what the? Oh, I can see her, her CP 1316 uh, Mon is out already. Okay, anyway, you guys can see that we still have a minute and eight seconds left on the clock. We are doing really, really well. The Moltres is trying its best to like take us out, but no way we are going to faint, man, because uh, it's going to faint before we faint, okay? Check that out. Another rock slide coming in before the heat wave comes in. Okay, heat wave should be coming in after this. Wing attack? Nope, another wing attack. Now my fine. I'll rock throw you. I'll rock throw you. Rock throw you. Rock throw! Rock throw! I think that is. Come on, one more rock go, go, fight. Go, 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 go. Yes! Is it down? Okay, it is down. By the way, if you guys notice, right, the rocks that are dropping down, the rock slide, it looks as if the motress is pooping. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, we are done. Woohoo! I think that is. We did it, right? Yeah, and it's fun. Yeah! Yay! See? Decided to do something a bit different, alright, and not use like a full team of Rhyperia or pop attackers just to show you guys that you know, using like subpar Pokemon, you technically still can duel certain Pokemon, especially the ones with double weakness like Moltres. Yeah, so it was a fun one, definitely. We took 4 minutes and 19 seconds to take down the Moltres. It's actually really slow, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. And uh, <laughs> I mentioned in the Articuno video that it is possible to solo. You know, um, Moltres in the future, once Mega Tyranita and once Mega Aerodactyl is out, even if you have a full team of Rampados right now, the number one rock type attacker, with partly cloudy and without friendship in the raid, you cannot solo it. Of course, with the 10%, you know, friendship boost and you do a mock solo, it's possible. Anyway, we're gonna catch this Moltres. It's not a Hundo, neither is it a Shiny, but we're gonna catch it as usual. And I missed the accident throw, as usual. And as usual, we caught the Moltres again with a critical catch. Awesome. And Auntie Glenn just showed me that a raid invitation for Mewtwo is in. I'm going to go into the raid lobby. But that is all that we have to show to you guys, man, in terms of, you know, checking out how Soul Rock and Lunatone performs against Moltres. Auntie Gladys, what do you think? Great fun. Yeah, you didn't think that we could actually uh, beat it with just Lunatones and Sorox, right? Yeah, man, with the sun and the moon. Yeah, I tell you what, next time we will use Geodudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it will work Can. too. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Yep, so I think that is, it's time to say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the video. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to smash the like button. Yeah! Show it out. For the Lunatone so and Sorox. But it's okay, they will do it. So, anyway, yep, hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching us use Sorok and Lunatone against Moltres. It was definitely a 
refreshing one to actually do this and uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to do what Anticladis just said to leave a like on the video it'd be much appreciated thank you very much and of course if you guys want to you know give us ideas on what Pokemon we can use to fight uh, future legendary raid bosses you guys can also let us know in the comment section down below so okay that's all that's all it's time to say goodbye right yep okay goodbye goodbye goodbye, goodbye.